The last time we've seen Ryan Garcia versus an experienced Southpaw. Possible shape. When you know that as a fighter, do you prefer to face a Southpaw? Hook, a 45, aiming to land that right hand. He's just gauging with that right hand to land that in that right hand up, that right guard up, that he wants to come forward, same success. Yeah, talking to Jack. He's baiting him in with that right hand just to step back and check him with that hook. Vicious left hand. But it was a Manuel Tega who was constantly running around the ring. That's how it started. You see, Sergio, that lead right hand Garcia for this fight. Yeah, I think he's going to have to find him. They've been working a lot on Garcia's timing in this camp. There's an, he still had something of PTSD when it comes to using that right hand. Balance, and then check him with those slinging left hooks. Nice to start off more aggressively and take more chances early. Uh, right now, Fortuna. And a bump Fortuna. And let the hands fly. Get it done against a former champion. The jab out there, a long, rangy jab. You know, he's been known to make make it rough in there. Sometimes, some say right now, just yet, he is a taller fighter, and, and Fortuna has been broken. Ryan consistently landing that straight right hand down the middle. Losses. Two one. I was talking about guys. It's like three long spears coming in. Last jab, followed by the straight right hand, and here's the punch. Height, the reach, everything's on on the younger, sharper guard. You got to take chances. You can't give up these early rounds. And he's looking for Canadian tuxedo, all denim, head to toe. Here, Fortuna had a pretty close fight against Jojo Diaz here. Almost caught him with that same slinging left hook. Will he let his hands go? We thought he'd start fast. Both the biceps, everything but the head. By Jason Sosa, 130-pound fight several years ago. And we know Garcia can end the fight with one punch. He's done it several. Is he pacing himself, Raph Sergio, a little bit more in these early rounds? Backed up Garcia right there with two jabs. I want to see more of that. Double in and... Oh, he pulls the crowd and, and you know, there's a, a look. That Golden Boy, it was Golden Boy's most significant. Oh, see, it looks so much bigger in there than Fortuna. See it. Top of your box punches. His body can carry that extra weight. Ooh, that and he was going to start pushing the tempo in the fourth round and a block. Luke Campbell out. Exact same punch. Fake that slinging left hook upstairs, but taking it downstairs to me, Park. Have another shot downstairs. There was another one. Well, Fortuna bought a few seconds, but will that be enough? Kind of with that left. Oh, and then a nice cut. He's protecting that ribs is what he's doing. Fortuna doing a lot of posturing. But Very patient. Smart. I like that. It's not to see that he's not going to get this. The stoppage. Low underneath that elbow. And now Fortuna is back. The fact that Garcia's not falling off balance when he misses that right hand. He comes up to see them fight one time in the pros. Oh, there's that check hook again. You know, when you're talking about guys comfortable fighting southpaws. No, he got him again. He fell for that right hand, got caught with that check hook. You can see. Garcia, the look in Fortuna's eyes. for that body again. He's already three, two check hooks up. Right, Sergio, that's the kind of shot we see right there from Ryan that makes you wonder. Can you work? Can you work? Took him, I think, the first time to respond to me. Look how much taller he is. But guess what? People want to throw and he caught him with a left hook again. Out comes the mouthpiece. No mas. No. 27 seconds of round number six. Referee Jerry Conte reaches the count of 10 for your winner. By way of knockout here, still undefeated, King Ryan! Whoa!